हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडेज टॉपिक इज द स्लोप ऑफ द आई एस कर्व स्लोप ऑफ आई एस कर्व डिपेंड्स अपॉन टू फैक्टर्स द फर्स्ट फैक्टर इज रिस्पॉन्सिवनेस ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट स्पेंडिंग टू इंटरेस्ट रेट डिनोटेड बाय बी रिमेंबर वी रोट इन्वेस्टमेंट फंक्शन एज I equals to I bar minus B I. So this term B represents responsiveness of investment spending to interest rate. And the second factor is multiplier denoted by alpha G. First we will talk about this factor. Responsiveness of investment spending to interest rate. case 1 investment spending is very sensitive to interest rate that means b is large the value of b is large here we have two panels the upper panel and the lower panel in the upper panel we have defined income or output on the horizontal axis and aggregate demand on the vertical axis and in the lower panel there is income or output on the horizontal axis and interest rate on the vertical axis this is our initial equilibrium point point e1 and the initial equilibrium level of output is oy1 in the lower panel you can see initial equilibrium level of output is oy1 and the initial equilibrium interest rate is oi1 now suppose that interest rate decreases from oi1 to oi2 you know that with this decrease in interest rate ad curve will shift upwards so there has been an upward shift in ad curve but one thing to notice is that the decrease in interest rate is very small but the increase in ad is large why because investment spending is very sensitive to interest rate a small decrease in interest rate leads to large increase in investment and thereby large increase in aggregate demand clear this will be the new equilibrium point point e2 and this is the new equilibrium level of output oy2 as you can see in the lower panel oy2 at interest rate oi2 we joined these two points and here is our is curve the is curve in this case is flatter okay a small decrease in interest rate leads to large increase in income level case 2 investment spending is not very sensitive to interest rate that means b is small again we have two panels we have defined the axis initial equilibrium point and initial equilibrium level of output equilibrium interest rate is oy1 and equilibrium level of output is oy1 again interest rate decreases from oy1 to oy2 and thereby causing upward shift in ad curve but one thing to notice is that the decrease in interest rate is huge this time however the increase in aggregate demand is small why because investment spending is not very sensitive to interest rate a huge increase in interest rate leads to only small increase in investment spending and thereby a small increase in aggregate demand this is the new equilibrium point point e2 new equilibrium level of output oy2 
as you can see in the lower panel equilibrium level of output OY2 at interest rate OY2. We will join these two points and here we have IS curve but the IS curve in this case is steeper. Okay. So a huge decrease in interest rate leads to only small increase in income level. Thank you.